Welcome forward to star 16 of our reflections and uh, we've now moved out of the Beatitudes and um, we're now continuing with Matthew but Matthew um, 5.13. So the three words we're looking at to help us orientate ourselves through the scriptures are constancy, powerful and Joseph most just and again that's because we're focused on Saint Joseph as well. So this one again is a, um, a very well-known part of the scriptures but again maybe those looking at it or orientating ourselves through it or analysing it with those three words will help us maybe draw out different meaning. So you are the salt of the earth but if salt has lost its taste how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything, but is thrown out and trampled underfoot. So again, an incredibly rich part of scripture that's well known. Now, first of all, looking at just that part of the scripture without even thinking any further, clearly it's ideal for, first of all, looking at it literally, looking at it at a level of allegoric, you know, sort of allegory, or looking at it allegorically and analogically, and looking at, if you like, trying to extract a moral metaphor in terms of maybe how we should live our lives. So again, this is, is a really good example of something you could do there. And again, a very quick brainstorm you know, would, would go along the lines of, well, actually, what is the purpose of salt, first of all? And uh, how does that link in? And uh, <clears throat> it is amazing how salt is quite powerful in terms of drawing out flavour from food. So it lifts the, the flavour of food up. And uh, for salt to actually work, then it's... Uh, what you want it to do is have some sort of uh, consistency or it be constant through the, the, the food. So th that's rather interesting. But when you obviously dig down into the scripture, it's obviously talking more about, again, how we should behave. And maybe you could look at the fact, well, if we're the salt, what is our saltiness? And maybe our saltiness, if we link it with the Beatitudes, is all the characteristics that we've talked about over the last few reflections that are incorporated into us. So maybe when we lose our saltiness, it's because we've lost all those virtues that we were talking about in the Beatitudes, or we've, we've lost our way in terms of living out the Beatitudes. So that's worth giving that some uh, thought there. And in terms of Joseph most just, Again, that, that was the link for me. It's the constancy and the powerfulness of Joseph being just. And because he was just, we, we, we know what happened in terms of him choosing to take Mary as his wife and bring up Jesus. So that's, that again, that, that's really, really important. Um, so just moving on, just to sort of summarise, um, clearly we could go into this a, a lot more, especially at that, the allegorical level and the metaphorical level, but just trying to bring this in, bring it together. I did come up very similar to some of the other reflections. If I am the salt of the earth, but do not have love, I'm good for nothing or tasteless. If I am, the, or if I am the salt of the earth, but not constant in my justice, I'm good for nothing or tasteless. And I think that's applying what we've just discussed. So I'll leave you with those reflections and God bless.